Другие на Right, so we are back to apologise for the technical issues, guys. Um, we'll blame it on the rain, Bevan. We'll blame it on the rain, mate. That's Here right. we are. We just got one of the face tech players coming up, Bevan. Who have we got coming on? Um, we just have a bit of an injury. We've had a couple of injury breaks. This this why we've been in delay. It's only 55 minutes in to this game. A bit of a clap. One of the face tech guys took a shoulder. Um, Oh, the heads of the class coming back here. So we wish him well. Penalty of offside, they're going to take the kick, huh, Tepu? The points go over. Kobe Milne takes it, slots it through the post. That makes it 16-3. Razor Tech have to get back in the half. They want to get him now. No, 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 no. I'm oh, sorry. I was, just, uh, I was just going to ask him who was coming off. Yeah, Kobe Milne was coming off. So, kick off. Here we go, Bo Hamilton. Takes a step back, kicks it through. It's a wobbly old kick, it's come through. Who's got up the guts? It's Captain looks like the John o Armstrong's going in there, maybe. Taking it in, boom. Another big hit there, Razor Tech's defense is a little bit splintered, but they certainly put some feeling in there. Jack Stratton box kick, nice and high, coming down on the halfway. Oh, slipped through the gap, it's Houtapu's ball. Turn back to Houtapu, taking the ball up. Underhill. Sikipu Molly's in there. John o Armstrong flicks it to Kobe Milne, taking it back up on number 12, which is, which is Palamahi. Palamahi. Big tackle goes in there to centre from Hautapu. Quick ball once again. Ollie Norris takes the ball up. Quick ball, recycle, quick. Kepi Molly takes it, it's a poor pass, knocked on. Oh, referee, I think. Oh, a bit of cramp there too from Kepi Molly. Six in the seventh here. Kobe Mill settles it down, sticks it in behind. Chase coming from the outer. Gets through one. Two. Pops it off. Bunch of season gap through. Fraser Tech takes off. Pops it out. Balance stays in, there's a big fella, but he keeps staying and big, bounce off another, pops it in the middle, grinding it up from the middle, this way to Tech. Dixon, surely offside, surely offside, crowd calling for it, Zach Gilford, he'll shore it up through the middle, it's broken apart, coming in from an angle there, Mount Tepe, have they got the ball, yeah, I caught it, and penalty, uh, he's had a guts for now. He's had a guts ball, yep, yellow card. Straight in and cynical play, straight in off his feet there. James Thompson didn't really get behind the gate there, did he? No, and there's, there's just some silly, play, uh, silly penalties creeping into both teams at the moment. Yeah, I think he came because he wasn't the tackler. He was, didn't have rights to come in the angle there. James Thompson, he got to the street really quick for the big, the big reef. Fraser Tech taking a sniff now. Well, this is the second time they've got a one-man advantage so um, be interesting to see if they can do something with it um, and they, they need to because Haltepe have come back quite strong and even though there's only been one try in the game um, Haltepe have been kicking the penalties quite well so, so we've got a full line out we've got um, Lewis Tai Toko as the reserve prop that's come on for Fraser Tech replace of a Gilbert Tauho Grinding it up, Fraser Tech. Got advantage. They're grinding it up, they could grind away here. Just keep it moving. Dixon takes it off. First wife, Bo Hamilton. Love Zach Gilford. Couldn't get it. It's all right. They've got an advantage. How tap down. One man. Yellow card. Infringement coming in the wrong side of the ruck. Mike Windsor. 
is asking someone to go away, please. He's going to talk to Jono. Jono Armstrong. But as important as it is for players to calm down, so the referee, um, just to take a bit of a breather, talk to players, and um, just everything calms down. The ball, thankfully, as a referee, you know, the ball's away. Yep. So, um, it gives Jonah you that opportunity. Just got a few there, a bit of clarity from Mike Winter. Bro Hamill just going to kick the ball off. Coming in from the side in that ball. It's a good ball by uh, Fraser Tech. Wonder if they're going to do it again. I would say so. They haven't been able to get good, clean, crisp ball out to the, that back line of how Tapu. Uh, sorry, of Fraser Tech. Got to go two and into a wall, don't you? Down the back. Nankable's gone up for it slowly. They've grinded up. They've got a good momentum, Fraser Tech. They're all in. They're all over. Oh, try! Who's going to come up with it? It's the old stalwart. The big fella. The big number four of Anakila Halafifi. Fihi. No. No, it's Penny. I see. Our knee. Sorry about that. We got the wrong guy. I've just been pointed out. Fantastic. The big guy. Right guy. The, the end ball. <laughs> Apologies there. It's Penny. Oh. I see our knee. I was half right. Um, went into a rolling mall. At the back of the line. Not often do you see that in a game of rugby. Well, it's gone quite wet, Bevan. And uh, you know the thing is, it's quite hard to get down. And so good, good stuff on Corey Taylor. Who uh, you know could get it down there, trust in the process. Nankable caught it in his midriff, so it wasn't the greatest of throws, but no one went up for that ball out down the back from Hatsapi. So, 16, 8, Fraser Tech. On 8, 60 minutes plays. Bo Hamilton. He takes a step back, he's ironing up, he's taking an age. Hatsapi can't move. Coming in for the conversion. Are they going to chase it? Yes, they're case chasing him. Four players from Hatsapi. He nails it, it's going he's through, got it. he's got it, it's over. Yep. So, we now have a ball game, 16, plays 10, 61st minute. In the 2019 Brew Shield final, the Hamilton FMG. It's getting exciting. How tapu. They've had a stranglehold on the game for most of it. Fraser Tech grinding away and come back in the game. Kobe Milne takes off. By Hamilton, flick it wide. Jordan Bunce tries to clear it. Kobe Milne forever. Lovely, beautiful. Oh, great, oh, kick. great kick. Nice, low and hard kick. He's played well tonight. Kobe Milne, he's on song. Using the grease of the field too to just get that ball to skim, yeah, that's skim right. off the grass and nice and low, good, good, uh, good playing. Kobe Milne, part of the Bay of Plenty Under-19 um, Championship winners last year, coming over to the Waikato to play this year. It's off the top, it's skiddy, it's messy. Dixon takes it into, back into the forwards. Nankable tries to drive it up. Good go for it by Fraser Tech. Dickinson fires it out to Bo Hamilton. High kick right down the centre. Netherly takes it. Once again, Kobe Milne. Bang into the guts. Terry Ponji takes it in, grinding away here. Will they get it wide? Nope, they're going to take it straight in. The big prop takes it in there. Bo Hamilton, flick it wide. Jordan Bunce, he comes back in. He finds a hole. There's a hole up the guts. Oh, and over the top. Messi ruck in there. Yeah, that's how we won that. Held on. That's how they're all over it there. Crazy Tech Guild just get a bit isolated, Bevan. Yeah, as soon as that player went down, um, how happy with first player was right there, smack on the ball, yeah, um, had all rights to it. It's a real ugly kind of fall, wasn't it? There's was players who couldn't get in there and fell over the top of each other. Once again, chance for how happy to put themselves a bit further away 
It's only a Trimberta try in it from Fraser Tech. And if they can get a sniff down that half, they've definitely got the strike power to, to score. But at the moment, Kobe Milne has a chance to push them further out. <laughs> Can they camp? The how tapy guys down there? But how tapy never been tested. The only time was the one time that they uh, Fraser Tech grumbled away from their lineout. By Hamilton, once again, drop kick, go short this time. Coming up. Oh, how tapy bounce forward. Hasn't been knocked on. He's away. He's going. Fraser Tech throws it back in. Fraser Tech still have it. Ruck ball. Dickinson passes it out. Big boys. Oh, lost four by Fraser Tech. Knock on. Good defense once again. Fraser Tech guilty of actually going too high. Too rushed in their passing as well. Yeah, they probably should have gone wide again there. They're not really trusting their whip. Fraser Tech. I would have thought getting that ball back would have shoveled it wide. But uh, Terry Ponji just just not able, just a bit upright, the ball coming a bit high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scrum. Even though there's been a few penalties, Paul, there hasn't been that many resets. Probably no. two or three. No, they've, um, they've wheeled around, spun around a little bit. We've got Rigel Churchwood, he's popped over to the loose head side now. So that means that Terry Bonji Bonji is on the tight head. Up against Underhill. Ollie Norris on the loose head. Let's see what a nice, steady platform. No real pressure. Oh, a bit of pressure coming for Fraser Tech. Bit too late. Clear. Once again, Kobe Moon. He's got down. He's got. They've got the tights. No way. 22. Well, Fraser Tech. They looked keen on the um, charge down, but just didn't have enough players that were going forward. Everyone was going back. So I think it was with a balance to Fara. He caught that right in the mush. He's, uh, he was down for a bit, he caught that ball square in the face. Kobe Milne has a very good style, but it's very low and um, quite easy to be charged down. Kobe Milne kicks off. It's going long. It's out on the full. Error for Houtepu. Quick try, but not wanted. James Houghton, the AR on the far side, takes it back to the 22. Yes, scrum. How the Fraser Tech have chosen the scrum. Fraser Tech scrum has been under all sorts of pressure this tonight. Last scrum actually applying a bit to Haotepu. Let's see if they can steady this up to provide a good platform. So, Nikon Underwell, the man that was in the yellow, his time's almost up. Was, uh, that was James Thompson. James Thompson, sorry, yep. He got the yellow. New Zealand under 20s, James Thompson. Good scrum, good scrum by Fraser Tech going forward. They come wide. Oh, he's going to have a go by Hamilton. Takes it up. Grinding over. Fraser Tech going to keep it in short and sharp. They've put on some fresh reserves. They're keen. You can see the energy they've lifted. Same again, keep it low. boom, they've loaded it off their bench. Fraser Tech, trying to get this game. It's been rolled over, penalty again. What do they do, I would say? Take the three, because um, you still need to score, you know, you, you need to score twice. So that will bring it within a converted try. Push over try um, from this far out? No, probably not. 
Well, it's, what they, it's what they're it's what they're doing. They're gonna go for a lineup, Evan. Here they go. So yeah. Don't oh, Hamilton them, says that's uh, it's good. We get the seven because it puts them into range. But the only problem is uh, the James Thompson, yellow card man. He is back on. Good yeah, that's the only thing that hurts. For the future of Waikato rugby, James Thompson lock coming out of St Peter's College a couple of years ago. Here we go, full line out. Fraser Tech going to walk into this, going down the back. This is what they've used. They've clicked it. It's non over. No good. How tech would grind it up, grinding forward. Great rumble up there by Hatsaku. Oh, inside their A22, it's still going! Oh, that's great. Oh. That's real good stuff. It's a mall, so... Now, if Fraser Tech jump on it, they can stop this. They've got it. Yep. Oh, all that work. But I tell you what, they were, it's a good 20 or 30 metres when they started. I reckon there. it's 30 metres at least. Oh, okay, all. we'll give it 30. That's good. That's, um... Fantastic yeah. work by Hatsaku. However, Fraser Tech still pinning Hatsaku going down there. I just got this feeling that the, the Fraser Tech scrums start to at least gain parity now. Yeah, they've done better and uh, just keeping it more stable. Get the get more clean ball out to the backs. Yeah, that's 20 seconds. Sorry. So if you've just joined us, it's 19.10 to Hautapu. 70 minute, 10 minutes to go. Fraser Tech ball. Goes down. <laughs> How's that boost defense? Holding resolute. I don't think that's right. Siren's gone, but um, I think it's been left on for um, yeah. the injuries that we've had. That's so. Right. The referees, referees time. I've still got nine minutes. Penalty. Oh. Another one. What do they do? You gotta kick the, the touch in. again. Yeah. Again, dropping the bind and going under. Yeah. And so you know, it's we've got a swing, swing, a shift, and Fraser Tech are uh, just getting on top of this. One converted try and a penalty, and that's all it is. Do they take the three here? Or do they go for a line out? Oh, they are too. Yeah. Well, backing themselves, that's not their yeah. play. If they had a converted try, that means they could win the game. So We're just oh, running over time, people. We've had a couple of serious injuries, um, and that is the reason why we're over time. We still have how long to play? About 10 minutes. 10 minutes to go. Four clock is still going. So this uh, penalty, 37 metres out. A couple of metres to the left hand uprights. And uh, it hasn't been, it hasn't been text fortitude at the moment. But uh, I'm sure it's how Tabby starts to make, how Tabby supporters start to make some noise. Bo Hamilton Come, takes a step back, comes in, strikes it, he well. likes it quite good and it is over! Here we go, ball game, 19-13. Eight, eight minutes playing. So I certainly game on now, if it wasn't the forum. Hautepu just slowing things down. Right, here we go, Kami Mellon kicks off again. This has caught the crowd alive, isn't it? They eh? brought them up, goes up. Fraser Tech, grinding it in through. Going through, Fraser, oh, lost forward. Hautepu ball, they flick it wide. Mitch Jacobson flicked it. It's going out wide. Hatsapu. Dragged. Held up by Hat. Fraser Tech. Held up. It's a maul. It's a maul. It's a maul. Fraser Tech. Are they going to hold it up? Yeah. 
Oh, and out. So line out. So Hexham's happening on the field and off the field Paul Martin is about 10 cop cars and a good chase happening yeah. in the town by the look of the hoops. See a lot up here. Here we go, line out, here we go. Face a tick ball. Short line out. They need to get out of their half if they're going to win this game. Face a tick. Holding for an age, the hooker. Throws it in, goes up, spilled, and again. Knock on. Well, there goes uh, Tech's chance. And, um, you know, if Hal you can score in any, in any chance, you know, three or five, might be ball game, ball game here, Paul. Well, it's still seven minutes, and I've seen uh, lots, lots of games won in the depth. And, hey, let's, a lot of these teams complained extra time. So, Fraser Tech uh, need to get their hands on the ball. And I would say Hal Tepi want to put a nail in the coffin here. Scrums go down, Mike Winnett just resets, just a bit of slipping over there. Only going to help um, Haltepe though, isn't it? As, as they sit. Grinding it up. Jones sideways. Haltepe, take the ball. Grinding it up. Through the backs. Good leg drive. Sit again. Keep it in and close. Forge driving up. John Armstrong takes it in. The captain. Trying to rally his troops. Trying to end this game. Second five for Hatsuki. It's lost. Crazy tech ball. What can they do? They're going to run it out from their own half. They're going to run it out. Oh, he's kicked it. Oh, it's a crazy kick. One. It's an ugly kick. It's gone all over the shot under his post. Pretty should have held on to that. They're just giving the ball back to Hatsuki. I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Jordan Bates. Hatsuki. Reset. Grind it up again. We've seen this before. Sikopi Molly, great leg speed, driving through, one, two tackles. Held up now though, still driving. Jack Stratton, show and go for Molly Norris. Didn't fool the Fraser Tech guys. Another one, going out left, Sikopi Molly. He's got, he's got caught by the ankles. Driving through, oh, a little pick and go. How to have right, oh, got a high throw. Good pass, Italy. In from the side, maybe. Oh, you know, it's offside. offside. Yeah. Offside of the ruck. So here we go. We've got three minutes to play. 19-13. I would say Cody yeah. Long's going to come up here and pick up penalty. Well, even if you in the off chance that you do miss that penalty, Mel, at least you've eaten up 90 seconds of that three minutes. Absolutely. And... Um, Puts them out of play for you know getting that score twice, but yeah. see, you know I don't think anyone really expected Fraser Tech to be here and to put up such a big fight with such a dominant Haltapi side. I mean they have rolled everyone. All three finals today have been brilliant, and um, so all six teams have been very well deserving finalists. Absolutely, and we saw that points for and against Haltapi have the best four against, but I don't think everyone predicted it's 19-13, three minutes to go. So the kick's about 10 metres in from the sideline, left hand side, 23 metres out, possibly 25 on the angle. Still no really wind to speak of like it has, has been most of the day. Yes that is correct. As we said, time is ticking away, just under two minutes to play. 
tech support is getting in underneath him. Comes in, kicks it, strikes it. I reckon it's good. And it is. There he goes. It's going to be pretty tough to come back from this. But we've got only about two minutes left. 22. 13. Minute 50 left. Kicks off quick by Hamilton. He's not mucking around. James Thompson takes the ball. Standing on the ground. Low lift. Fraser Tech. Pour in. Is it a Jack Stratton clearing kick? We've seen so many of them tonight. No, it's off to the forwards. They're going to grind this one out for a minute. In close. Spill ball. Fraser Tech have got the ball back. No, it's gone back to Hautepi. So it's grinding it up. Jack Stratton taking his time. Using his experience. Ollie Norris takes it in. Just got to hang on to it. Pistons left and right. This is what they're doing. Underhill. Prop. Takes it in, driving it up. They're just going to grind this one out. Now, Buster Bass, what? How many minutes on the clock? It looks like we've got a minute, 30 seconds actually. Grinding it out, pissing out. Can Fraser Tech take the ball off them? 2019 Brewery Shield Final. How tapu? Not many wins in history. Kick it. What was thinking there? They've got it though. Oh, oh no! It's picked up. Passed out. They've got a Fraser score Tech. Now. Grinding it up. Good clean. Can they go wide here? Fraser Tech. Offside, surely. Absolutely surely. Not it's being played. I think their time's up. Missed pass. Boom, up the guts. The advantage play here. Much of it don't care, they're offside anyway. Play it again. Going wide again. Zach Guilford can't get it away. Penalty, playing advantage. Dickinson, here's oh. a quick young go. He takes it up the guts. Fraser Tech, the big winger, he offloads. Bo Hamilton, the big tidy prop, come on. Terry Punji takes it. Oh, it's bounced off. Play on. Oh, it's over, it's all over. It's all over, how's that to win? Deserving winners, Paul Martin today. Oh, fantastic. You know, great scenes for Hautapu. But I tell you what, there's two teams out there. Fraser Tech came to play. A couple of crucial injuries. Uh, put the foot, but hey, look, 22-13. Fantastic. Another epic final from a Brewery Shield match in Waikato. Deserved win by Hautapu. Undefeated. Very hard to do in, in the Waikato in the season. Fantastic win. Hats go off to their coaches and their supporters here today. And also to Fraser Tech, all the very best of the injured players from Fraser Tech. Big warm thank you to Mike Winter, the referee today. James Horton and Grant Stewart, the assistant Grant's referees. Assistant referees, fantastic play from them. Awesome. And as the uh, celebrations carry on, we'll have uh, Blair Foot out there with. Um, Mr. Reed from Waikato Breweries Draft. Waikato Draft are our sponsor today. 2007 was the last time Hautapu won the Waikato Breweries. Well, it's been a fair while. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Waikato Breweries Shield first play for in 1966. It's been around and uh, obviously a very, very... Um, supportive sponsor Waikato Draft. They also completed the season two. So that was us done for the night before Martin. Um, Fraser Tech did very, very well to play there um, and keep in touch with Hautepi. As you said, not many teams had this whole season. But Hautepi, they showed why they're undefeated. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Bevan, uh, Fraser Tech came to play. There were chances where they had some opportunities to win. They just couldn't nail it. But, geez, were the finalists and actually they, they pressed Hautepi right to the limit. So, uh, fantastic. And, um, wish them all the best. And, but can't take a hats off to them. Well led by John Armstrong. 
um, captain with some young guys in there, and there's a lot of guys, a good, good country club, and a lot of stores in there in their, in their team that have grounded out um, unsung heroes. So, thank you very much, Bevan. It's been a pleasure. All right, so on behalf of Paul Martin, my name's Bevan Jenkinson. Thanks very much for staying tuned. Uh, we, we will knock off the talking, we'll just keep with the presentation here. So, please do stay tuned. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks very much. You've done a great job, guys. See you guys. Have a good night. Yes.